Okay, welcome back. And um, we're speaking with um, uh, the APC Deputy National Youth Coordinator, Dr. Nicholas Felix, is uh, in New York. His base is in between there and here. Uh, and I have on the line Reverend Dominic. A, a fine morning to you, know, Reverend Dominic. Good morning, Chief Yori. How are you? Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. Uh, Yori, let me just start where my two friends uh, ended, George and uh, Yakub. Yes. But Yori, honestly, honestly, I have fought a lot of battles about APC. I'm tired. In 2015, we fought for them to win. They won. And we have a baton. George knows. Yakub knows. Most of our friends in London. The battle we fought in 2016 was the parliament was speaking another them, as you know, and Mr. President was one side, as we think, led by Sarigi. We fought together. 2019 said never again. In 2019, we had the parliament and the executive speaking in one voice. But you're, every time I woke up from bed today, today, I'm a pastor. I'm not a social, I'm not a politician. Whenever I wake up in bed, I find it like a nightmare that I shot this in the FTC government and the PC party. I find it a nightmare. I will not put my thumbprint to this party who have created all kind of nonsense. In my lifetime, I've not seen it. Yori, I had 20 calls on Monday. When I talk about the element I want to sabotage, I showed you, before I came up on board, I had 20 calls. So I'm talking about killing some other people. I said, listen to me, I'm a pastor. Death is such a nonsense to me. Somebody who dies will not die tomorrow. Everybody that's sabotage, I showed you, in this first we pay a, a terrible price. This is why you're, I will never go to APC. They have caused more pain than anything in this world. And the way this man that's trying to go into power, they will still sabotage him. But what is going on? We are on edge, a political party in power, making this difficult for their own candidate. You are sitting the currency. You're, I was in bad case today to look for 1,000 naira. Me, as a Dominic. If I looking for 1,000 naira, Reverend Dominic, yeah. how is the pop for crying in the bank yesterday? Okay. I, was, I, I bought you yesterday 450 naira. If I could afford it, how many people could afford, could afford to buy for four fifty? And today, somebody went to court, Koki went to court, uh, court uh, Zafra, and got in judgment. The attorney general cannot vote in to say that they are going to go to court against that. What a party is that? Indeed. I won't vote FBC. I sure to win, but this will frustrate him. May God help them. Thank you. Thank you. Can I, can, thank, thank can you I respond much. to Reverend Domni? Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Reverend Dominic, if you can hear me, please let me speak to you. I'm so I'm glad. No, he can hear you. Like he, but we have to leave the line free for other caller. But he can hear you. Please continue. Good. good. So please let, let me just quickly just just speak to you. Uh, I'm I'm glad you, you have confidence in, in Ashiwaju. You know, when Ashiwaju becomes president, he becomes the leader of the party. Don't forget that. Yes, there are always going to be insiders who are going to be fighting an administration. This is not just only in Nigeria. It's something that. Uh, I'm glad you read your Bible. Was it not uh, even uh, uh, Absalom, the son of David, who fought David? Did David not conquer? But let me tell you one beautiful thing I love about Shuaju. You see, I love people who are very bold. One of the things that attracted me to him the more, Ashwaju is a bold man. He's a man that would take bold steps, bold decisions. So don't, don't be afraid. Don't say I'm not voting for him because they will frustrate him. No, 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 no. Okay. When he becomes the president, All right. he becomes the leader. Indeed. So I, I wanted to go out there. Let's vote for him because that's the kind of man that we need in, Indeed. this time. This is all politics. I, I was just going to say to you, Dr. Felix, that the Reverend Dominic that called in and all these other people, they are, they, it's like preaching to the converted, but they're still angry. They're angry. They are, yeah. They're loyal to APC. They're not about to quit support for APC. But they are angry that promises made, I, re I reference change, uh, you know, has really been highlighted by its absence, uh, according to uh, many. But uh, that's not the case. Uh, they also touched on something that I wanted to also uh, get your perspective as, you know, working with the youth. And that's this whole matter about, uh, uh, you know, the currency change and uh, 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 some governments going to court and getting an injunction. As of last night, according to the newspapers this morning, the federal government has approached the court, uh, the Supreme Court, asking it to dismiss a suit challenging the February 10 deadline uh, set by CBN. They actually haven't got the decision, the judgment. They've now approached the court that, look, you don't even have the jurisdiction. I don't know, but before then, Mr. Mohammed in Abuja, please bear that in mind. You might want to comment on it. Uh, Mr. Mohammed in Abuja has been waiting. Thank you very much, sir. Good morning to you. 
Good morning, Uncle Yori. Good morning. Uh, I greet you, I guess. I yeah. have spoken very well. Okay. Dr. Felix. Yeah. So, uh, concerning, uh, uh, no, I don't want to call names, but concerning some people that are blaming APC, that they brought policy that is not intended with people's, what, uh, uh, they are not sensitive with people's life or whatever. This policy is never, and it has and never the APC policy. This policy is strictly a policy of MPLA and CBN only. And CBN is not APC. CBN is an agency of Nigeria government. CBN is independent, and they issue a policy. They went and convinced president. They give him wrong advice that the implementation should be done now for vote buying, and which means that the politicians whether you are doing for vote buying or whatever, the politicians have their means, they have their way to, 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 to do whatever they want to do. But for the masses to be suffering because of policy that is not... Care if I give an example. Saudi Arabia, they, have, they, they, they implement that policy. Seven years ago, they are still collecting all, all money. So, uh, England, mm -hmm. presently, they are doing it. Still, the Elizabeth money is being accepted and, and, and this spent in England. Why we now? Why, why the implementation? Why three months only? Really? Why can we give it only three months to, 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 to change our currency? Why, why that if there is no any motive? So the conjunction by the Supreme Court stand, nobody will remove that. He stand. The, date, the date of 10th uh, 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 whatever, uh, February is null and void until the decision of the next uh, 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 decision by the Supreme Court by 15th January 2023. No government, nobody will interfere, nobody will, 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 will interfere with that, with that uh, injunction. So we are fully behind it. We need even to bring new, new currency. If they don't have the old one, let them print more. Let okay. Uh, have our life back. Like uh, 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 all right, then. Thank you very much for calling in, Mr. Mohammed. And so over to you, Dr. Felix. As I was saying, uh, people would have thought that the federal, I mean, the Supreme Court ruling yesterday has sort of doused the tension. People have begun to heave a sigh, of, a sigh of relief. But government is not letting go. The federal government, according to reports, has approached the court last night. I don't, I don't even know that these people can still be approached in the night, but well, they, they're telling you that you heard it in the afternoon or whatever, it, what, whatever time you heard it. Now the federal government has approached the court and has argued that the Supreme Court lacks jurisdiction. I'm quoting directly from a newspaper uh, front, in, in fact, it's the Guardian in front of me here, uh, that the Supreme Court lacks jurisdiction to hear the suit which was filed by Kaduna Kogi and Zamfara States. So the, we don't really know where we are. First of all, how does that grab you? Well, one, one, what do you feel about this whole currency change exercise going on now, uh, speaking as it were from amongst the youth, and then the Supreme Court coming to to inter well, uh, 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 coming into the matter because it says there was an urgency and there was a need for it to come into it. But now the federal government has gone back to the Supreme Court and said, you didn't even have jurisdiction. Give me your thoughts on this whole matter. It looks like the government is bent on saying that from tomorrow, which is the government's position, you can't spend the existing Naira note. It must be the recolored one that you must be spending. Your thoughts? Yeah, you see, that's that's why you, you hear somebody like uh, Reverend Dominic getting angry that this is being done, understanding the way people are going to see it. But going back to what Mohammed said, this is this is the point I was making on my last TV appearance, that the CBN is, is a different agency, it's an uh, entity of its own. It has nothing to do with the party. You know, anytime anything goes wrong, to talk about a party, 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 this decision was not discussed in our... Uh, this policy was not discussed in our national office. I'm not sure in the course of discussion, the national chairman of our party was invited to come and join in the decision. I'm sure the news came out just like every other person heard it. So everything is not just about APC. If, some, if the rain don't fall, you blame APC. Anything that goes wrong, APC. Apparently, we all know something is going on among people trying to frustrate the party, not just party, making people get angry at the party. That's the idea. Even though it's not just APC members that are suffering. Everybody, people, Nigerians are suffering uh, uh, with what is going on. But the fact that uh, the government is still approaching, the Attorney General is approaching the Supreme Court, I hope the, the, the judge stand their ground. The last time I checked, the Supreme Court is the highest court in the land and be able to extend this because we have just few days to the election. Indeed. 
I, 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 I beg your pardon, is, Dr. Felix. Uh, let, let, let me, yes. uh, uh, sorry for interrupting you, uh, because Gwenga in Abuja is also uh, waiting to join the program. A fine morning to you, Gwenga. Good morning, Mr. Yorin. Thank you for calling morning. in. Good morning. Yes. yes, on the issue of the youth supporting Asuaju, I think the youth need to know that Asuaju had a great plan for the youth. And it's evident in the way he has been able to garner youth in his government for eight years, were able to discover youth, empower them, and make them what they are today. I mean, look at uh, Governor Sanwolu, Look at the senator, uh, the senator from the PDC that was a commissioner in his cabinet, and other youth. You see that if you look back again for the past 20 years, look at what they were, the age. They were just like graduates or first graduates or so to say. And he brought them yeah. up at that time and, he, and not showed them mm -hmm. to what they are today. That's mm -hmm. the man that can see the future. And he has been repeating it that, look, he will give the youth loans. Because let me tell you today, Nigeria today, our education problem is because we are not paying the right amount. How can a federal university be collecting 20,000 naira per annum as, as something? I want education to grow. We want people not to have the best education in Nigeria. No! If you put it in the right place and you give loan to the students to support their parents and they pay the right amount, you see that we can be able to revive our education. Anybody promising to revive education the way it is now without students getting loan to pay the right amount, I'm telling you, by shaking shadow, as you try, will continue to 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 to, to fester. All yeah, right then. You see that she was you there. They know you are performing the past, but they bought the old Lagos. Me, I don't know what he bought in Lagos. I don't know the possession he has in Lagos. And there's no need to give to prove it. Yeah, the thing that I've said on social media that he bought the old Lagos, Lagos in his pocket. I've not seen that before. <laughs> All the government that came have been able to do their own. I, I'm, I'm putting their 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 their, 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 their program in line with the lay down lay, lay down foundation you are done with. What I'm saying is that yes. there's not anybody can do in this something as you are in demand for that place. And that's why all the first time are against him. And he will survive it. I don't need it before. All right, then. Said, I don't want to use any election. And I believe that you're not this election. No matter what, there there's no nera, no nera, no petrol. People are there to vote him, will vote him. Because it's not today. We know who we know who he was and who he is. And had the capacity mentally, bodily, physically. Government Thank you. All right, then. Thank you very much for calling in. It was inevitable that it was going to come to this kind of um, talking about this as well. Um, but, you know, what has been said, I assure you, um, he has this knack. He, he has this relationship with youthful minds. Uh, but he also, um, I imagine, for instance, he said in, in the course of this campaign that, look, uh, there are some tough decisions that are going to have to be made, though. He said that the subsidy thing is going to have to go. He knows it's a bitter pill, but, you know, it, it's going to have to go. So some things, are the, it is known that uh, he can deliver. But I interrupted you when you were speaking earlier on. Um, maybe, you'd, yes. yeah, let, maybe you'd like to continue, please. Yeah, let, let, let me just throw one more thing uh, uh, about a show what you want to ask to do with you. Sure. You see... Um, as a young person, uh, uh, you, um, if you listen to my speech on that day, I said the only thing they remember us for is SA. You know, a lot of SAs have been reaching out to me that uh, SA is a good position. I'm not against it. But you see, some of our leaders do not respect us as, as youth. I see what you respect you. It doesn't matter if you're rich, you have position, you come to meet Ashwaju, you, uh, he's sitting down comfortably. He wants to stand up to greet you, to shake your hand. He will not say, you're not a governor, you, you're not a minister, you're not rich, or you're not uh, a notable person in society. I should want you to respect us as youth. And that's what we need now. We need as youth in Nigeria to be respected, to be valued, and to be listened to. And this is the man we believe is going to make that happen for us. Indeed. You know, we, we must rally around him and be able to elect him. This is our chance because I we need to be prepared for the next elections. We Indeed. need to be prepared. And this is the opportunity you, as youth of Nigeria we cannot afford to miss. Okay, let me bring Real One on. Real One is in Mushi. Good morning to you, sir. Yeah, good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. Uh, yeah, please. Uh, I just want to uh, put some advice in because I, I came in from the United States to come and vote. So I live abroad. I live in the United States, Houston, Texas. So I don't see 
the uh, Ashwaji Youth Campaign Week to engage with the students, most especially the students in such an institution, because at least if they engage them, it will really help a lot, because I've engaged in, with many of them, talked to them, because I was a unionist when I was in school, and I did talk to them about Ashwaji, but yeah. they are saying a lot of things about them. Uh, you know, see, most of these people, they are also on social media, and they all have their PVC to post. But if I can advise Mr. Nicholas, because I follow the primary, I follow everything, I really appreciate him. Because when he stepped down, he didn't step down for Ashwaji, he stepped down for uh, Vice President of Shibadu. But yes, he's still working for Ashwaji, kudos to him. But what I will advise is that if they can engage the student union more, they call them. Not everybody will want to come into Ashwaji campaign. But if they have one or two or three of them, they have a town hall meeting with them, mm. engage them. But, so but uh, real one, That's real, real one, uh, I, I'm sure you will know that Ashwaju has a very robust relationship with um, uh, the youths in tertiary institutions up and down the land. Uh, I'm sure yes, you know, know that. I know. Uh -huh. I know uh, that. Exactly. Uh, okay. But as you said, that needs to be concentrated upon. Uh, Dr. Felix, would you like to uh, react in any way to... What, what has been said? Yes, I'm, I'm paying attention to all the comments as, as regarding the youth at the national level. And I can promise you, as soon as we end this live broadcast, we're going to make as much calls as possible. We do have a major event coming up uh, in Abuja for the youth also. Okay, and that that's good be, to hear. Because uh, that's, that, that's yes, good to hear yes. because that's along the lines of what Mr. George, our very first caller, was talking about. That, look, yes. uh, there, there are ways in which with the vibrancy of our youth can be seen and you've just talked about that. I was speaking earlier about the women folk have organized something. Uh, our youths are very, very, very capable. They're very vocal. Uh, they're very competent. They're up and doing and all of that. So um, uh, people are saying that, well, the uh, youth directorate, you know, maybe you can come up with something. And as you are saying, you're going to be making some calls. They also are probably hearing us uh, as we are speaking right now. Yes, yes. So... Um, we, we, we have, well, you, uh, you, you, you were speaking about the existing situation. The federal government seems to be recalcitrant. It's going back to the Supreme Court to say that, by the way, Mr. Supreme Court, I'm not even sure that you had jurisdiction. So I don't know where that is going to end. I don't know how that is going to be argued. But the federal government, according to news reports, where people were heaving a sigh of relief, ah, oh, I have a few more days, whatever, because... And as you know, Ashwaju has put out a notice there. People should please be on their best behavior. They should not be provoked. Yeah. They should not do anything that can be misinterpreted and uh, uh, actions being taken. Because we're hearing about people advising people. Uh, there are people who have issues with this whole issue about somebody giving wrong advice. Uh, but it is what it is. That's what we're hearing. Um, I suppose you also you know, would like to speak to the youth as well that no matter the pressure, no matter the hardships, you, you probably want to see the youth, in, as far as your party is, is concerned, uh, be, behaving in a particular way. What would be your word to the youth yes. in these tough times where the youth can't drive their cars because of the petrol crunch, the youth can't uh, access their money because of the currency crunch? What would you be saying to the youth at this time? Yes, uh, you, I want to speak to every youth out there that are listening. I know it's frustrating. You are not alone. Uh, for us, too, it's very frustrating. I've been trying to, to send the uh, ordinary 70,000 naira to, to somebody. It's been taking me three days now. It's like I have to believe in miracles to, to be able to transfer money. So it's quite frustrating, but I want us to look beyond. Why, why now? Why are they doing this? We cannot have this election postponed. We cannot have uh, destruction all over the place, riot. And this, we, we are better than this as Nigerian youth. They cannot instigate us to go and start burning banks, burning the, the uh, police station, destroying local businesses that are barely surviving. They are not our problem. Let's, let's hold on. If we survive the COVID lockdown, I believe we can survive this. Let's bear it. This is exactly what they want to instigate. All now right people then. will be getting angry. Uh, they will be blaming the APC government. Let, let's, let's hang in there. I believe after February 25th, all of this will be over. All and right I, I want to believe that the Supreme Court will stand their ground and look at the pain and the suffering of the average Nigerian 
and not recount and, and change their decision. Let me bring on Moses, who has called in from Benin. Good morning, Moses. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in, sir. Go right ahead, please. Uh, what I want to say is, we thank God for as who are you. You can discover talent. Uh, can you help us a bit, Moses? Could you speak up? You know, you're a bit I low. Thank, I say thank God for us who are you. Okay. He can discover talent. All the records are there since 2000 and, eh, 1999. As a city cop, all the records are there since 1999. You discover Fashola, you discover Mbode, you discover Saul. And thank God also you discover Buhari. He said he makes Buhari the president. Well. And yes. Well. Yes, he said it. You can yes. No, I'm not, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I don't think we, you, you can say that, uh, you know, who discovered Buhari. I mean, Buhari, he, you know. He, he but said but I, I, get, I, I understand the trend. I understand yeah, what you're saying. He said he made, he said he made him. Because he comes first time, he failed. He comes second time, yes, he failed. Third yes, time. yes, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And now he makes him. So he discovered him also. So if all their success, all, if, if all the successes of uh, Ambode, uh, Fashola, uh, uh, so we'll look is accredited to Tinibu. Why are we disassociating the, uh, the, the unsuccessful of Buhari? And let me see, and I believe, Nicholas, I, I learned you are a pastor. You're supposed to be. Yes. You, you, you can't say this one is not your policy. Number one, uh, Mr. Mr. I beg your pardon. Uh, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I want to apologize to you, Moses. Time doesn't allow us, but thank you for calling in. And we, we did get the point that you made, but um, uh, we, we, we've run out of time. I wanted to give uh, Dr. Nicholas Felix the uh, last word on this. You said that, you know, you, you, you are still very, very much talking. And um, perhaps in this, you know, shortly we should be able to see something, hear something from them. We know they are there, but then for, us to, for them to show us uh, the vibrancy uh, in some sort of uh, an event, you know, for this particular exercise. We can, we can depend on that as we go. Your yes, final words. At, at, the, at the national level, uh, I know that's what people are expecting because a lot are going on at the local uh, and state level. Uh, we hope that uh, before the election, we're going to have one. One is already in, in progress. We're going to make the announcement uh, by next week and we'll be able to roll that out. And we're hoping that uh, Ash we'll be able to get Ashwaju, depending on the, on the schedule, we'll let him know if he will be able to attend. If not, uh, we know other people will be able to come. But this is going to be massive. Okay. And the youth out if there, you like, organize hey, it, let, let's if, if, you, if you guys organize it, I'm, I'm sorry for interjecting. If you guys organize it, I'll be very, very surprised if Ashwaju is not present because he's very, very close exactly. to the youth. You know, I just I can just hear his voice now. Greatest of the greatest of the greatest of the greatest of the greatest youth. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I want to. Have, you need to have. You need to have been in the youth event that we acted there. That Ashuaju was present. My God, I I was so that that room was something else. You you need to have been there. Indeed, it was it was. I uh, can imagine. It was very interesting, and the way he was even praying for the youth that was very captivating to me as a pastor. Yeah. When I heard him, God will bless you. You will not. I mean, I I love that what he did as a father, well, coming it, to speak to the youth, and not just that, pray for them. Indeed, that was uh, very very good. Uh, it's been lovely. It's been lovely chatting with you, Dr. Nicholas Felix, a businessman, philanthropist, deputy national youth coordinator, APC Presidential Campaign Council. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the best. Good to be here. Thank you for having me. All right then. So that's our program today then. Please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I am Yori Volare. Bye-bye for now.